Welcome to Ion Fitness. Also, uh, welcome to our guest, Melinda Ann. How are you? I am great. Thank you for having me. Melinda joining us today on Skype. She's also joining us today here on Ion Fitness. And uh, we've also got uh, the professor, as we call him, Steve Lubsey, with us. Uh, Steve, uh, give us a little background here on, on our guest today. Well... I ran across Melinda about, ooh, two years ago, and we come up with this idea about doing this TV show, Cast Iron Lady. She picked the name, actually. I was thinking, like, fitness for You're the one to blame. Yes. <laughs> she came up with this Cast Iron Lady's name, and we went with it. Now, uh, okay, I, go ahead. M- Melinda, what, why, why did you pick Cast Iron Ladies to, uh, to, to put that with the, uh, with the reality show and everything? You know, honestly, Jiggy, what happened was when Steve and I were were talking about names, this one came to my head immediately. Yeah. Um, You know, just trying to think of something original, something different, something that's not out there because, I mean, there's a ton of names that want to describe women in fitness. Yeah. But you know what? When you look at the the end uh, effects of what our bodies really look like when we get on stage, they are cast iron hard bodies and um it just came to my head and i i fell in love with it i called steve immediately and i threw it at him and it's 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 been the name of, of the show since then now uh tell us about your fitness background how did you get started in the uh, in the fitness world well what happened to me was um i was turning 40 the big 4-0 had to make a you know just trying to think of what i was going to do for my big 4-0, everybody was asking, and uh, you know, I, I've been ill, Jiggy. A lot of people will learn my st- will learn about my story and why I chose to go down the fitness road. I've always been an athlete since I was young. I'm, I'm the oldest of eight, and I was the only one that was really as athletic as I was in school. And um, I uh, I died from uh, having a cancerous tumor removed on the surgery table. It took them six hours to keep me alive. I was very ill. So I'm very happy to be here and, um, you know, to be alive to see what I have. So anyway, I was going to the gym. I bought a membership at the beginning of the year. I was like, I'm going to be 40 this year. Yeah. And I'd be kind of been out of it for a while. So I, I, bought a, I bought a membership and I had a couple of trainers ask me if I'd ever thought about competing. They, they said, you have a, a great physique for it. You know, have you thought about it? You should give it a, a shot. And I said, you know, I, I never have. And they gave me the details, they sat me down and kind of bugging me a little bit and then I said, you know what, why not? This will be something that will teach me strength and, and discipline and you know all of that stuff and why not have the best body at 40 years old? So that's when I decided to compete. I was a little skeptical and a little worried but I knew you know the diet obviously scares everybody but um, just dove right into it and fell in love and got on stage, had an amazing time. My first time competing, I was first call out, and I was up there with a couple of pros, and I took home a trophy. Amazing, amazing. Tell me about the uh, the, the day of for, for your first competition. What is that like uh, from, from the time you get up till the time that they handed you the trophy? You mean the time that you don't sleep pretty much the whole night because you're nervous? No, I think I got like about three hours of sleep, and it was just... You know, I think for me, it, obviously, you get nervous. You're scared. Yeah. And, um, but all I, I, I was just thinking of food. <laughs> I, I knew my trainer said I was going to have some rice cakes and peanut butter, and I was so excited, like, for rice cakes and peanut butter. But, you know, I, I, was, I, I got on stage, or I got out there when I was there, and we got the makeup on, the hair was going. It was very exciting. Six months for me, training hard, changing my life around this yeah. And uh, doing the best that you can, and all I, all I, could, all I thought I wasn't expecting to win, Jiggy. I really wasn't. I was getting up there thinking, I look amazing. I am so proud. I am happy that I'm here. I'm happy that I finished it, and I'm just gonna get up there and I'm gonna have fun. And um, I had a great time. Did was in total shock when I got first call out, and they had us up there for a minute, you know, because like I said, I was up against a couple of pros, my first time, and so I was nervous, a little shaky, but I just kept saying, you know what, I was just up there, just 
shaking it around, having a good time. And um, then we went back and my trainer had already told me when I got off, she's like, oh, you placed. And I was like, Are you, how do you know? She goes, I know. So she did, she let me have a small lunch <laughs> and some coffee and that's all I got to have. And then went back that evening and they called me out again and they placed us there and there was my trophy. And I couldn't believe it. And it was just such an amazing feeling that I got there and I accomplished something that I wanted so bad and it worked so hard. It's safe to say the sport is addicting, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it is. It is addicting. It is very addicting. Um, I'm ready to get on stage again. Obviously, you guys, there's a lot that's been happening in my life this past year. I'm here in New York um, with Carlos and we're doing, you know, some wonderful things with Cast Iron Lady. So I... We're both actually going to compete this spring. We're going to we're going to pick a, sh a show and take everybody with us through the journey of training hard. As a matter of fact, I just got back from the gym, so hence why I'm still in workout clothes. But um, you know, so we're going to get on stage. Him, you know, doing bodybuilding, probably some immense physique, and I'm going to get back on stage because it is addicting. Whether you're going to compete again or it's just a style, a lifestyle that you stay maintained with and you know what it, it'll be with me forever I'll I, I just I can't ever see myself stopping this is the best hobby somebody could ever choose and obviously sometimes it's no longer a hobby because it becomes more than a full-time job but it's definitely think about when you first started and look how far you've come with this and yep. now there's the tv show and uh oh tell Jiggy some of the other stuff that we've got lined up for the show well um, I, I understand that we are going to be meeting with Ava. We're going to get the other ladies. We're going to be doing some red carpet events. We got we're, that we're supposed to be getting um, get some invites to Cast Iron Ladies, getting out there, getting known. Um, we're going to be filming some more, I believe, with the Wounded Warriors, which I'm really excited about. Um, and just you know, really just taking everybody through the lives of. But not only me, but there are thousands and thousands of women, strong women, single moms, married women, you know, or just single women who take on this lifestyle and have an amazing story behind their their journey to being fit. So we have so much of that to see, you know, that we just want to show everybody because a lot of people feel that, you know, they don't have time or that they'll never be able to, to you know, reach the goals the way we did. We'll be able to show them how. And even no matter with all the things we've got going on in life, you know, you can still do it. And everybody will be able to relate. So that's, you know, the motivating part, the inspiration side of it is what, you know, gets my motors going more than anything to help more people get healthy. Um, again, I got sick last October and, and had ITP and almost died again. If I hadn't gone in, I would have been dead. I was spontaneously hemorrhaging on the inside of my body and it was moving to my brain and they said if I hadn't gone in I would have been dead that night that's they definitely scary they couldn't even they didn't even know how I walked in there looking normal uh, other than they could see the, the blood um, bruises all over me but they said that if it was because my body was so strong and healthy and that is the only way that I was um, able to walk in and, and handle such a critical state that it will forever stay with me and while I will always, always, you know, stay fit and healthy because I could have been dead again. Well, I'll tell you, you're, you're an inspirational story. Take us through your, uh, your, your training here um, for, for a, a competition and when you're not in competition mode. Well, <laughs> sometimes it's hard for me to shut off one or the other. <laughs> Thank goodness I've got Carlos to sometimes talk some sense into me because I always feel like I'm in competition mode. <laughs> and I, I tend to diet and train. But, you know, obviously the diet is a little bit uh, more different uh, when you're in competition mode because, you know, your diet is 80% of how your body looks. And so the diet is uh, obviously way more intense uh, you do carb cycling I mean it's not a diet that everybody who just wants to maintain and, and, and be in shape and look good and be healthy needs to be on obviously this is for people like us who um, compete in, in, in this sport to to do so you know what I think as far as training 
I, I, I still go hardcore. I, you know, when you, when you're used to lifting the way you do, um, I, it's been changed up a lot training with Carlos because he's got a, a different way, um, of, you know, tra of, of working out each muscle group. And I've learned a lot and my body's actually, I put on more muscle, good lean muscle. Um, but you know, the training part in the gym kind of doesn't go away. Um, you're not maybe not in there as much. Uh, than when you are in a competition mode, but that part kind of it still stays the same. You kind of lift the same the same weight. You just do the. To me, being in the gym, the training side of it just enhances and fine tunes the body. Whereas the diet is what you know really really can transform your body to be to look leaner. Now, uh, how how important is the the dieting versus the training? Because there's a lot of people that that do the training but don't do the dieting, and then there's a lot of people that do the dieting and they just never bother to go lift weights. You can't have one without the other, honestly. If you aren't maintaining a great diet and you aren't, you know, eating healthy and and eating a lot cleaner, if you're getting started within, you know, to 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 on your journey to be healthier, getting in the gym is just almost pointless because you aren't going to really lose a lot of the weight. Um, you know, you might see a little bit of a difference, especially if you pick up on your cardio. But you know, again, I, I can't emphasize on how one is not going to work without the other, because um, diet is eighty percent, and I, I'm sure we can say that a hundred times. Diet is eighty percent. So you know, um, you can go work out in the gym twice a day and and go hardcore you know, lifting weights, lifting heavy weights. But if you leave and, and, and go are going through the drive through of Burger King right after, or you don't have a very, you know, uh, disciplined and clean diet, you're not going to really see much of a difference. Now, uh, so Steve, key. you, you, got anything for your cast iron lady before we, uh, before, before we wrap it up here? Yeah. Um, we're going to go to that Krav Maga school here pretty quick. Do um, you have any thoughts on that? Oh, Krav Maga. I, I don't know much about the sport. I, I was, uh, when I was in Denver, I was downtown, and they had some booths. I, was, I don't remember what fe uh, festival I was at. And they had a booth there, which was really intriguing because I believe it's a, a, a form of a type of a martial art from, the, from India, if I'm correct. Uh, I, I, I believe it's, it's Israel. Yeah. Israel. Israel. Yeah. My apologies yeah. from Israel. So, you know what? I've never, I, I haven't had the training, but I've always wanted to do some f uh, form of, um, uh, of training for. The, um, I think this will be pretty intense. That guy teaches to all the FBI and cops around the New York City area and New Jersey area. We also got right. an invite to ice combat in LA that I'm friends with Brandon Jarrett there and uh, it's a similar style um, based on Jeet Kune Do and that ought to be pretty intense too because it's all street offense it has nothing to do with the old school forms and katas or anything like that it's all all offensive stuff so yeah this will be a little fun and then there's uh, that go ruck training that we're gonna just work our way into that boot camp thing and just scare their drill instructors at some point in time. <laughs> boot camp, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so much fun. You know, and it's always good to kind of, I, I feel to, to uh, integrate some of the different types of training. It doesn't necessarily have to be go hardcore, you know, lifting weights and all that To If you can incorporate some other form of fitness into what you do i mean it's only going to enhance you that much more exactly uh, yes absolutely so i'm really looking forward to that and self-defense as a woman you know some sort of uh, something you can learn for for self-defense but i'm all for learning something you know different all types of different things in, in in fitness instead of just lifting weights i mean once you once you have a love for you know being healthier and working out you, you just you, you welcome everything else with open arms I'm going to give them a little 45-minute seminar in Rochester when we're done with the filming. I've seen are how you? fast Danielle's hands are, and I told her, I called her, and I said, I'll give you a couple tricks that'll make you twice as fast. I said, then when you're up there, I said, I'll, I'll show you some stuff that definitely, 
you can use, you know, and it'll work against most people except very large, strong males. It won't, none of it'll work on that. It's just, there's too much of a strength and size difference, but on the average assailant, you know, it'll work like a charm and make them be able to, you know, exit the scene without having any problems happen to them. Oh God, that sounds awesome. Yeah, you know, these, these ladies, all the ladies we have on board so far are, are so amazing and wonderful and have a heart of gold. You know, they're not only cast iron on the outside, but what we get to share with everybody is how cast iron strong they are on the inside too. You well, know, I, I feel like it's it's all outside and inside with, with these wonderful ladies, you know, with their stories, with their lives and how they've incorporated. It's it's so inspiring. Oh, I know. And, I mean, we fell in love with all these girls and, and you know, Rita cracks me up, you know, oh. so much. I mean, God, anybody that meets her, it's got to fall in love with her, too. You know, I mean. How can she, they not? Yeah, she she's funny a, and, and serious at the same time. <laughs> oh, she's hilarious. And she takes life to the fullest. No drama. She's yeah. just happy. You know, just so fun-loving and, and always just making you laugh your butt off all the time. And, and it's so wonderful to be around that positiveness and, and all the joy. All of them. Every I told single, her, you know, and the, yeah. She's got that I'm the boss saying. I told her, yeah, you're the boss of the dogs. And she said, that I am. Well, as we wrap up with you here, uh, how can people connect with you online, whether that be your website or Facebook or Twitter or any of those? Well, my uh, my Facebook is just Melinda Ann. My fan page is Melinda Ann Fitness Model. And then my website is up, and that is www.melindaann.com. But it's spelled M-E-L-I-N-D-A-N-N.com. Well, Melinda, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us here on uh, Ion Fitness. And uh, any final words for for anybody out there? Thank you. And you know what? I just I just want to say that thank you to all the supporters so far for really taking in you know our dream and our story and 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 just giving it all the love and support that you have. Oh yeah, they've um, been very good to us. A lot a lot of people. I mean, it, it's amazing all over the world, you know, that what we're getting because fitness and being healthy is, is, is a language of the world you know, that everybody wants. So just want to really say thank you for everything. And um, we got blessed tuned. with an excellent camera crew in New York and elsewhere, yeah. like Sammy Valentin, um, Brian Hand, David Reyes, um, Jose, Jojo Sason. Yeah, we've, we've, we've yeah. been very so fortunate. Absolutely. So, so thank you. Stay tuned. We've got so much to, you know, that's coming up and um, we just can't wait to share it with everybody. Well, it's amazing stuff. Melinda, thanks for being with us today. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jiggy.